Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Coach Rock here from Revenge Basketball, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a quick four-step process that you can use to easily shift defenders. And by shift, I mean make them go one way while you go the other way. Of course, this is gonna help you create space for your shot and create space for you to attack, whether you drive into the rim, whether you're getting to an elbow, whatever it is that you want. This is pretty much gonna help you learn how to embarrass defenders when you're on the court with your handles. All right, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step of being shifty when you're a guard, when you're anybody, when you're trying to create space with your handles and trying to shift defenders, the first step is to get in a low, you don't wanna to be too low where you can't move, but you wanna be in a low, good attack position. And you really wanna focus on your hips here, all right? You wanna focus on opening with your hips and creating, which is step one, extension. That's the first step of shifting defenders, all right? So step one is extension. By extension, I mean you want to cover a lot of ground, and this is going to build a foundation for all your moves. And that's why it's very important that you open your hip here. All right, and this is something I actually learned from martial arts, is if you go here and if you try to kick somebody, you wouldn't be able to get that far, right? Because your hip isn't open. But if I open my hip and did it, I will be able to go much further. So the same thing applies in basketball. If you want to extend, you can go like this, or you can open that hip and extend much more. So opening your hips is going to give you a much better opportunity to extend. And extension is very important because you want to cover ground when you're making these moves. I'm talking about just beating a defender. You want to cover ground, and it's going to open the door to being able to be much more shifty. All right. So that is step number one is extension. Now, step number two is the setup, okay? Once we have the extension, the setup comes with utilizing that extension. Whether we're going hard in this direction, going hard in that direction, all right? Even if we're taking horizontal dribbles to create space, these are all different setups, but you have to master all different types of setups to be shifty. And it comes with the extension part. Because if I'm just attacking my moves like this and not going anywhere, it's going to be impossible to be shifty. All right. So first step, we had extension. Second step, we had the setup. All right. Now the third step is power. Now, this comes from a mix of opening your hips and using your hips, but and it comes from the extension as well. But when I say power, I mean power in your moves, power when you push off your back foot, when you're doing your crossovers, when you're pulling the ball back, in your dribble too. Like, you should be pounding the ball hard. That power is very important for making defenders go where you want to go. And you're not where you want them to go. You're not going to be able to Get somebody to move if you're like that. You can see a big difference between a crossover like this and one like that, much different. So you wanna focus on that, all right? The extension, the setup, and the power. The setup is important because you wanna push hard to even set this move up. If I never beat my defender going this way, he'll never fall for a crossover, right? So again, we wanna do that the extension, set it up, and then the power in all of our moves, push hard, do, be forceful in your actions. And you should overstress the power when you're practicing, when you're training. So you should really just pound the ball in your training. So when you get in the game, what becomes natural to you is more 
is more powerful than what, than what you would do normally without practicing that way. Of course, when you get in the game, you don't want to be pounding the ball like uncontrollably up here. But when you practice that a lot, it'll become second nature for you to have that power in your game. And then last is the execution. Execution is all about being able to finish off the moves, whether you're finishing at the rim or hitting the shot. It does no good to be able to shift somebody, get them bouncing. You won't be able to hit them with hesitations or none of that fake head, head fakes and all that if you can't hit the shot out of it, right? If, I, if they know I can't shoot, it does me no good to come here and go like that. They're like, okay, go ahead, do that. You're not gonna shoot it because you can't shoot. And if you shoot, you're probably not gonna make it. So you gotta be able to execute these moves and finish. Again, if, I, if I'm known for crossing somebody, getting to the rim and missing a layup, they're gonna be less likely to shift and try to stop me in my moves because they're like, hey, if he beats you, he's just gonna miss. So you wanna be able to execute these moves as well. So let's quickly recap. Um, we had the extension was part one. We had the setup was part two. We have power was part three. And then we had execution, which was part four. In order to execute the fourth part, you really have to master the first three parts. If you don't master those, you won't be able to execute. So again, go back through this video, implement each step, focus on, break down each step by itself so you understand it, and then work on implementing them all together. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, definitely hit the thumbs up for me. Let me know you liked it. Comment below, let me know what else you wanna see, any type of move, breakdowns, drills, anything, you know I got you. Last but not least, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking that red subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Until next time, I'll see you then.